If we ignored the principle of repetition, there would be a lot of chaos. Users wouldn't know what to do. There would be a miscommunication. My name is Karishma. I'm a multidisciplinary designer and I work with both digital and physical products. I've been designing for over a decade and I love repetition and use it across all of my work. Repetition as a design principle is reusing the same elements and motifs over and over again. It is particularly useful in graphic design, in user interface design, as well as textile design. In my own work, I use repetition in a variety of ways, and in particular in the textile design that I create. In textile design, you can use um, repetition through half drop repeats, all over repeats, as well as block repeats in design. Repetition is all around us and it inspires me on a day-to-day -day basis, seeing things like wallpapers and fabrics that include pattern and repetition throughout them as well. If we ignored the principle of repetition, it'd be difficult to create large-scale projects from the comfort of your own home or office because it's difficult to recreate um, tiles manually and it's much more easier to create repetition digitally across your design work. I'd like to share a project with you that I worked on and it was for a menswear company and it was creating tartan fabric but doing it digitally. The idea for this project was to recreate the tartan fabric um, but do it digitally and create a digital texture to give that woolen look to it. In this project, I use repetition in a variety of ways. One of the ways is to repeat shapes such as the horizontal and vertical stripe. Another way is to repeat the colors as well, for example, the greens and the blues in this tartan. And then the most important way is scaling up from a tile of this size to something that is much bigger than that, like this pattern over here. I knew that this was the right level of repetition because I had to print off this digital fabric and see what it looked like in reality. So again, that involves an element of repetition, reiterating the pattern and seeing what it looks like at different scales in reality. I'd like to share this project with you and it's where I used repetition in packaging design and it was for a card game called Espionage. So this initially starts off as a flat pack and becomes a three-dimensional box. So repetition was important in developing the type of pattern going across all of this, as well as the finer detailed pattern in the center of the packaging as well. And you can see the repetition of the pattern all the way across the box. As well as the packaging on the outside of the box, there's also repetition on the inside with the actual cards designed for the card game as well. My top tips for using repetition within design are to use lots of different kinds of repetition and making it relevant to the work you're doing. So don't just use mirror repeats, which a lot of design students do. Use them cleverly. They can be amazingly effective in the right projects. If you're using different sizes of tile, make sure they scale in reality. So print things out, look at them in a real space to see what they actually look like. Mm -hmm.